Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natured, and this is our Piano Iona food and restaurant review. As always, I'm joined by Mackie. Hello. Hello. Who put the video together, and this is my first time watching. So let's see what we can see. Food and restaurant review time, Linz. Yay. I think you like doing these ones, don't you? I do, but then I end up ravenous afterwards. That's true. We're on Piano Iona, as you've already said. Yes. And we're going to take a look at the inclusive dining first. So what's included with your fare at no extra charge. Yeah. And we're going to start off at the main dining room. People love an MDR. They do love an MDR. Now, there's actually multiple main dining rooms on Iona. You haven't just got one. So, as Please you, as don't quiz see, me. I won't quiz you, don't worry. <laughs> the main dining rooms are open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Classic. Yeah, as you would expect. Oh. You can sneak your own Yorkshire Gold tea bags in if you're Lindsay. Is that, is that actually you preferred them to what you got in there? People know I like a Yorkshire Gold tea bag. They do. The main dining rooms were often really busy. Yes. Um, apart from breakfast. Yeah, they were a nice, serene experience, weren't yeah. they? As long as you got a booking and and you might have to wait. But yeah. We, uh, we never really had to wait for breakfast, I don't think. No, because we booked. Did we? Yes. I mean, that, that is a top tip. You can book on the app using their virtual queue, even if you know you're going straight down there. Because Yes, do that. Then you don't have to queue. No. Um, you, you might think, oh, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, because you can normally get straight in. Lunchtime, they normally have a selection of sort of small or larger plates. Um, we, we had a couple of dishes to share, like they've got here, which was the... Frito misto. Frito misto. Is that, is that what you're going with for that? Which were basically <laughs> some fried fish stuff. There was some prawns, some calamari. It really tasty. Fish bits. It, it's nice that the main dining rooms are doing things to share, because you don't always want a full meal. No, you don't. At, at lunchtime. You want something better for during the day. Um... For evening, rather. Yes. But at lunchtime, you sometimes just want something a little bit lighter. You do. go in there and better get it. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, we're back in the, in the main dining room. Oh, there it is. There's the frito misto. It is. Now, we saw a couple. They loved that. They ordered two. They did. We just had the one. They actually recommended that to us. They did, they? yes. Um, which is nice. It's one of the things that is nice in the main dining room. Pearl! Yeah, that one's Pearl. Well done. So you've got, you've got one of them without me quizzing you. <laughs> Uh, that you can actually chat with people whilst being on separate tables. Yes. Uh, yeah. They also have the celebration nights, formal nights on other shit, they call it celebration. Gala nights. Um, and on this particular one, it's a well-known celebrity chef, Marco Pierre White, who put the menu together. Yes. And it was really tasty, actually, wasn't it? It was a very nice. It, I think that sometimes the main dining room celebration nights... Different ships, different cruise lines, etc. I, I appreciate that. But they can be a bit sort of not that great sometimes. Oh, I had cheese. I was just trying to remember what I had. Yeah. But on this particular one, yes. the food was really good. The service was quick. It was. Maybe arguably too quick. So I think we were in and out of there in less than an hour. We'd not finished our wine. We'd not. That's how quick it was. Yeah. Uh, lobster thermidor. Lobster. Yeah. No big claws no, on no. these lobsters. No. But really tasty. Yes. And it's no extra charge. It's inclusive with what you get. So the main dining room for me that was really steady. There were no problems with it. I, I enjoyed it. Oh, what am I doing with that cheese? <laughs> the, the oh, food, for <laughs> the, the food was, as I said, generally really decent. Um, and we, we gave it uh, a seven. What am I doing? You tried to get cheese on a cracker, unsuccessfully. Oh, it was very hard. But what, the cheese? Yes. But or try to get it on the cracker? Both, because <laughs> I like my cheese to have been out a while, so it softens up. Yeah, I think that one would come straight out of the fridge. Yes, particular. yeah. But we, we really enjoyed the food that we had in the main dining room. Yes, we did. Yes. Would you like to take a second to invite people to subscribe, Wins? <laughs> I would love to invite people to subscribe. Um, thank you if you already have done. And yes, thank you. Enough of all that. <laughs> On to the Olive Grove. Yes. Now, this is the one that I was surprised how busy it was. Now, when I say busy, when you look inside, it never looked that busy, as you can see. Right no, now. it didn't, but it was always booked up if you asked. Yeah. This was the one that was full 
more than it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, and, and people love the olive grove. There is. Now, we went in the first time, which is what we're looking at here, and we yeah. weren't that impressed. I had the pizza. You had the pizza, and I think I might have had the lasagna this time. You did. Uh, which the, is one of their sort of... Um, Special. We, we, we've made this fantastic lasagna, and I was like, yeah. I want as good as your lasagna. No, I, I didn't rate it. Now, we met someone else on the ship called Gary. Yes. Who loved it in here. And we were saying, no, no it's not that great. He's like, well, did you try this? Did you try this? Did you try this? I'm like, no. no. So we went back in on Gary's advice. Rec- we did. We had the dishes that he said that were really good. Which was the tuna. I had the tuna. Um, and you had the flourless chocolate and hazelnut cake. Yes. And it was massively better. It was. The pizza, I, yeah, the pizza was not great. It, it wasn't, and as I said, the lasagna, for something that they make such a big deal out of, I was really disappointed with And that, that was the affregato. Which is nice, apart from your inability to pour oh, coffee into a bowl. <laughs> 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 It's a complicated <laughs> procedure, that, isn't it? Why am I not good with things? Now, as you might be able to tell, the e glide amongst you. The decorations are now up for Christmas. This is because this was about a week oh, after yes. the first one, after yes. Gary said, go try it again. Yeah. So, on recommendation, um, it was much better. It was. And it is an inclusive one. There was a couple of menu items that you could pay more for, mm-hmm. but there was no cover charge. No. The, everything that you're seeing on here... We didn't pay extra for No, it. and I thought it was a, a full speciality when we booked it. I don't know why I ordered them little fishes. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> but things like the chips, I said we didn't pay for anything extra. We actually did. The baklava one here was £2 extra. Yes. And the chips were a pound for chips. Well, they were truffle parmesan fries, weren't they? Yeah, but they only had that as an option. And that's the flourless cake. Oh, yeah, we're good that. But, yeah, we... We we thought it was much better when we went back a second time, but we would say, as I just put on there, choose very wisely. Yes, yes. The keys. Keys was a revelation. It was. We we'd obviously seen it before. We went on board. We'd watched some videos and and read up yeah, on it. Yeah, because that's why you're watching. Yeah, we we were doing our bit of research, and this is such a great place to get lunch. It was our favourite place on board to get lunch. It was. It was lovely. I would say that we. Ate in this particular area, more than anywhere else on the ship. So, yeah, I, yeah, we did. If you look at all of yes, this. Yes, we did. We did try it for breakfast once, which you can get at the American Diner bit. Yeah. We had it in an evening. Yes, once, we did. Well, we'd been out during the day and we weren't actually that hungry. Yeah. And then we went for lunch quite a few times. We did. And another top tip, the fish are quite small yeah. for the fish and chips, but really tasty. But if you ask for two, they'll give you two. They did. If you, you... ask for more than that, I saw someone get three. No. I mean, it it was lovely. It's a lot less bustly than the buffet. It is. It's in the same run up to sort of. The, there's a little buffet just round the corner from it, or sort of sweet area. What am I having there? The burger. Yeah. It was all right. The fish and chips are great. And the ones like the Asian fusion, they change that each day, um, or one of the dishes each day. You're giving it an eight. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's really good. It, the American diner one was actually the worst bit. So the, the chicken was a bit <laughs> rubbish and the burger was a bit rubbish. But the Asian fusion and but the, the fish Asian and, fusion and the fish and chips. Yeah, and the katsu curry. We saw the sort of crew going on there and having that as well. Yeah, which is always a good sign. And the and, breakfast. And I say, nice little place to get breakfast because it was so quiet and quick still. So it's that buffet quickness, but yeah. a lot calmer. Taste three sixty. We liked here. It was okay. It does good. It, chips. It's burgers and hot dogs. Allegedly, you'll see on here, it says the Flaming Bird Roast Chicken. We saw that on the first day in the ovens. We never saw it again after that. That's true. Um, so, th- again, the pizzas were okay, but nothing to write home about. It's good when you've been swimming and you're hungry and you need to eat something. It is. We give it a 5 out of 10, because there are a lot better places to eat on Iowa. We gave it 5? Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, the Horizon Buffet. <sighs> Why the sigh? It looks it looks lovely and serene right now. This is as quiet as it ever was. Yeah. It, it you know, to use the the sort of pun, it was a bit of a bun fight in here a lot. I Pe- mean, people just went crazy in in the main sort of lunch and dinner times. Shall I tell my prawn story? Yeah, tell your prawn story. Okay, so I went to get some of the uh, prawn king okay. prawn massaman, 
I queued up. The lady in front of me decided to fish out all the king prawns <gasps> of the king prawn master man brazenly in front of everybody and left us with the little shrimps. <laughs> took like 30 king prawns. She just stood there in front with the queue and then fished out all the king prawns. Now, the, the other problem I have with sort of the buffet on, on Iona is it's there's four separate parts of it, but they're all identical. Yes, there's not a lot of So there variants. isn't a lot of no, choice. no. Yeah, not when you compare it to other ships, certainly uh, Princess, certainly Royal Caribbean. It, it's a much more limited buffer. Now, I did like to... I did eat more than just puddings on... Th what, what's my... What am I having you there? You weren't impressed with this particular pudding, I don't think. Oh, no, I don't look impressed at all. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> we cheese. could get some cheese in there as well. Love cheese. But it does get very, very busy in there. We, we give it a five out of ten because... It, as you can see here, during sort of one of the busier periods, it, it's very average. It's manic. Chef's table. Chef's table's a revelation. Had you forgot about chef's table? I had forgot about chef's table. So, Loved chef's table. Chef's table is only on during the celebration slash formal slash gala nights. Yes. So if you're on a seven night cruise, it's probably going to be on once. Yes. If you're on a two week cruise like we were, it's on twice. Yes. It gets full. So you need to book it as soon as you get on and say, we want to be on this one. And it, you need to queue to get in as well. It's all quiet. You have to queue in it, as you come out of the you lift. You do, but not, not for no, long. No, no. You know, you don't have to queue for long, but you don't just wander up like a speciality restaurant. There no, is queuing. I was going to say, just to be clear, there are chef's tables on other cruise lines. Yeah. They're generally the most expensive speciality restaurant you can do. Yes. This is inclusive, but it's not like those ones. No. You haven't got the chef stood in front of you explaining everything and cooking it for you. It, it's a nice celebration like meal. And they serve it in the the buffet area, but it's completely cut off. It looks beautiful. It's all linen down there. You've got proper crockery and glasses and full waiter service. It's lovely. It's still in the buffet, but they give it... But a... you don't feel like the no, buffet, does it? No, it has a glow up. In the same way like the beach house, which we're going to cover later on, the it's you don't feel like you're sat in a buffet. No, it's lovely. We really enjoyed it. We saw the sunset. It was really nice. And it is one I would really recommend people to do. That's it. Completely inclusive. We would have gone back as well if we'd have got in. But well, we couldn't get in the second no, time we're full. No, but we uh, really enjoyed it. I don't it. know if it was the same menu the second time. I'm assuming it was, but can, I don't know. Can I just point out, this is Halloween, so I'm wearing a cape. You were uh, dressed as Sarah Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. I, she was my... Inspiration. Yes, yeah, she was. And I had... The, um, you don't just generally walk around with a cape on. Even though I do rock it. I'm having um, beef wellington here. I enjoyed yeah. that. And I, they I cooked had, it right as well. Yeah, I had the lobster thermidor for this one. Yeah. Uh, really? Again, it doesn't look like it's busy because they keep a lot of spare tables. And also, what, it's um, a long way What down. is that face? <laughs> that was you doing the Sarah Sanderson I don't know. I, I don't know. What am I having now? Well, this was your disappointment in here because this was Cherry's Jubilee. I nearly I'm, swore then. I'm laughing because you were so excited when you saw it on the menu when we went in. No almonds, not boozy enough. I just... You were like... Ugh. It was, yeah. It was like somebody, Nana had opened a tin of cherries and put some ice cream with it and called it Cherry's, <laughs> cherry's Jubilee. We give it an 8 out of 10. It might have got higher if it had had better than Cherry's Jubilee. Yeah. Um, speciality dining. So all of these you're paying a little bit extra for. Yes. And we're going to start off with Epicurean. I would point out as well that we've done some dedicated reviews for these, so I will put these in the links as well, um, because a few of these we went in multiple times. So rather than spending 10 minutes yeah, on yeah. each okay, section... Okay, okay. I get. I, I, I hear what you're saying to me. Don't Thank you. Don't waffle on. Epicurean, don't <laughs> waffle on. <laughs> is that what you think everyone else is thinking? Listen, like, just be quiet. Right? Oh. Epicurean is their fancy one. Yes. Uh, it, when the time that we went on, it was twenty eight pound mm -hmm. per, per person. person. Yeah, uh, and service is outstanding. Yes, it, it really is. They have two separate menus that they alternate throughout the cruise. We must have chinked there because I was looked very happy. You did. It's because you got wine. We only got menu one. Yeah, we got menu one. Menu two or menu B, whatever way the the class it has, is actually the better menu. Yes, I thought so. Um, but. Oh. You, you're saying, oh, because that was your, as you referred to it, sort of dog food-esque starter, which was the uh, Marabone 
and Eight. ox cheek, I think, wasn't it? And it was meant to be slow cooked, but it was really chewy. I tried it as well. It wasn't good. It's what I had it, it would look like and what it came out like was two different things. Whereas mine were fantastic. You loved yours. That's a signature dish though, isn't it? It is, yeah. I had the, the big pork chop with you... their crackling, really tasty. Um, and you had the the fish. I can't actually remember what I've it I've got a lobster thing there going on. But again, you really enjoyed it. I did. But last time we went an Epicurean when we were on Ventura, it was better. It was better. Uh, the service was fantastic. The staff were brilliant. Yeah. But it just, it seemed to be lacking something this time compared to previously. Oh, I've got, I did, we did get a sorbet. I didn't think yeah. we did. Yeah, we got a nice little sorbet. And you liked it by the look of your face there as I, well. I, yeah, I'd just forgotten about it. What am I and having now? You know, that's the desserts. And I had that dessert. Did you? Yeah, because you have uh, another of your favourites. Oh, Crepe Suzette. Yeah, which was very good. It was good. It, I had a taste of it. It's a little bit too rich for me. There's no man with a little trolley, though. No. And we gave it a 7 out of 10 this time. We've said it's still good, but not as great. Yeah. On the other hand... Keel and cow. Keel and cow. Now, you pay for what you order. Yes. So, like with a couple of other restaurants on my own, it's not a fixed price. But it averaged about £20 per person. Is that um, what it did? Yeah. Oof. Now, we ate in here three times. <gasps> we had a lunch and we had two different dinners. Oh, so my goodness. So it looks goodness. fairly quiet at the time that we're in now, but it was actually... Lunch uh, time. Yeah. And we'd heard lots of good things about it beforehand. So it's their sort of steakhouse and burger, fancy burgers. Yes. But it does... Uh, an awful lot of other stuff as well. And I, I've thought Epicurean would have been better than here. I oh. wouldn't have thought I would have... If you'd have said, which did you enjoy more, I would have thought I'd have said Epicurean. Yeah, if you'd have... Your expectation beforehand wouldn't be that... No, this not at all. But I loved it. And I was a little bit concerned that it was going to be sort of an open area and people could walk through. You couldn't. It was in... Which it kind of is, but not like other places. No, not like, um, which was the other one, Bistro Sulemaire. Oh, yeah. Not like that one, which we had an issue with that one. But the food in there, and we had different things every time we went in there. I think we got the cheese twice. The, this Did we get the cheese twice? I know, but the, the, they need to be, those need to be breadsticks. It needs to be firm, harder. You know what I'm, crunchy. A bit softer bread for you there. That, yeah, that I like. A light for catchy, will not it? Yeah. But the cheese, that, that's to share. We yes. we destroyed that. We did. Their burger, which is, I think it's called, is it the Prime, Prime Minister? Prime Minister, yeah. Uh, really great burger. Uh, and they cooked really, it for really you. Tasty. Mine were cooked, you had it later and yours were a little bit overcooked. They didn't ask me. Uh, whereas mine were cooked pink and it was lovely. What am I having there? You were having a nice steak. Oh, I've got the ribeye, well. yes. Oh no, I preferred the... That's the Diane. I preferred the peppercorn. The The Diane wasn't boozy enough for me. No. And you'll see this in the review because we've got a lot more to share on here. Cause we had the tomahawk to share um, later on. The 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 duck bao buns were amazing. The desserts. That cheesecake's the best cheesecake I've you ever had. You loved that cheesecake. And you can see a little bit of there, but we'll show that in the full review. Otherwise, we'll spend 10 minutes just talking about Keel and Cow. What? Oh, my God. You're a bit excited about that. <laughs> but we, we really liked it. It was our favourite restaurant on board. Beach House. Now, Beach House, if you've watched any of our other videos, up to this point was our lowest rated restaurant speciality. Speciality. Restaurant ever. At sea, ever. Ever. It, on the previous time, I think we gave it a 2 out of 10. Oh, my goodness. So we went back into it because people were saying, it's different on Ioni, you, you need, need to try it. Yes. So we went, Okay. We'll try it. If we'd have only been on a shorter cruise, we wouldn't have tried this. No, we wouldn't. There's no way I would have wasted an evening meal. And money. Uh, and money to go try it. So there's a £7.50, I think it is, cover charge. Yeah. And then there are certain dishes that you can pay a little bit more for. Yes. So it's not expensive to go in. I'm just going to put it out there. It was so much better. Oh, so much better. I, it was, in fact, it was fabulous. We were, I was like, oh, here we go again. Well, if you go back and watch our Ventura <laughs> video where, where you look at Beach House and you compare the two, oh, it doesn't it? look like the same thing. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even look, I mean, the menu font's the same, but it's not 
it's all... But it's, all the dishes were it was different. The dishes great. were better. It felt like we were in a restaurant as opposed to in a buffet. What did you have there? I had this sizzling stone plate, which oh. had some prawns and, and steak. steak. And the steak was perfect. All it and came I out the, rare. I had the gate... Uh, the, the go- not the gate, the goat curry. You did, and you really enjoyed that. Oh, as well, it was you? amazing. Could have done with some peas in the rice. Yes. But other yeah, than Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Oh, look at that. And, and you can see I'm showing that there because obviously I'm halfway through it and it's still yes. perfect. Yeah, no, we loved it. What did I have here? You oh, had the banana split. I did have the banana split. In, in a kind of a taco shell, I think. I did, the yes. Sweet taco. I, but massive improvement and we've given that a 7 out of 10 which not an 8 not an 8 but it's getting there it really is I a massive know. difference oh no the limelight club okay should we call it limelight lounge so the limelight club different to everything else that we've looked at so far in that it's a dinner show yes we were in there for over 3 hours yes we were what I would say is if you go into this get there at least half an hour early minimum yeah. Maybe a little bit more. If you want one of the front seats, mm-hmm. because the seats, the tables are allocated on the basis of when you get there. And they, and they yes, and they we, fill We from... were there 25 minutes before, and you can see how far back we're sat. Yeah. We had a good view of the stage. Yes. But I, I reckon those that were at the front were there an hour before. I bet they were. I bet they were. Oh. They have some unique cocktails in That was well. your cocktail. It was. I, I didn't like this cocktail. No, and you made me try it. And then I stopped drinking it. It's one of the first it's times horrible. I've not finished it, a cocktail. It was horrible. It, t- it reminded me of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> you have a compare. It's also, she performs as well. Yeah, she was lovely. Uh, so she performed in between yeah, the courses. great. Uh, and then you have the main turn, the main style on for that evening. So your prices in here vary depending, depending on who you're seeing. Yes. We paid 29 but there were one of the other people who were on, and they were 35. Ooh. So, uh, depends who you got. The food itself... It was weird. It was very average. Yeah, it was more Sunday lunch, kind of. Well, like, I had a Yorkshire pudding with, with mine. Yorkshire pudding a, at 8 o'clock at night? Which were a weird choice for a dinner show. It was just... It, it I did, like a Yorkshire pudding. You do like a Yorkshire pudding. But... It, the food itself was average. It was and, very heavy. But the problem is, you've got to say, are you paying for the food? Or are you paying for the person? Or are you paying for the show? And for me, it was more weighted to the show. Yes. So you got to take it into account because it's a speciality dining experience. Yeah. And your trout, you enjoyed that. I did. I just, I'd feel it could have been more supper clubby, the menu. Yeah. It, it, it just felt like it had been taken out of the main dining room. Yeah, it did. Yeah, you didn't feel that it was sort of special to there. No, it didn't feel. I mean, it was. Oh no! And then the weirdest pudding. That's supposedly a panna cotta. Yeah, and wait, prosecco panna cotta or something. Yeah, it was jelly or jello or what? It, yeah, a panna cotta should not wobble to that degree. No. If you disagree, put it in the comments below. But it was jelly, and it wasn't very good. It no we. I, the, we, neither has that much more than what we're showing here. Apparently the chocolate brownie was great. Well, they came and asked us and they said, do you want us to bring the brownie instead? Yeah. And we're like, no, we're okay. No, I did not even like that. My my face was exactly the same. Tom we, Lister was fabulous, It though. was. We've given the experience six out of ten. Is that what we gave it? If you're looking at it as a dining experience, yes. it wasn't a great dining experience. Tom Lister, who was probably was fantastic. Oh, Sindhu. Sindhu, the Indian restaurant on board Iona. It's also on quite a few of the other ships as well. It, yeah, it's a staple. It is. It's a a la carte restaurant. Mm-hmm. So you pay for whatever you decide to get. Yes. So if you want to get every single starter and every single main course, you can do that. But it'll be expensive. Yeah. And it's a big restaurant on here. Compared it to is. Look, I'm going for... I'm going for a what? Oh, look, at well, waving... Some friends, waving. <laughs> well, people we met on the... Not waving at oh. people. <laughs> <laughs> That's me now. Uh, for us, when we went in here, we went in twice, it worked out at £30 per person each. Really? Yeah. Oof. So it's not cheap. No, but it's, but it's good. good. The, the cocktails are nice, the, the pickles, that's the, I think it's East Meets West cocktail or something like that. Yes. Uh, really tasty. It was good. We've got some mugs almost there, was that? We do, yeah, to put as, um, as little, must, uh, not must, what, what, mules. What, mules. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, again, there's going to be a full separate review yes. uh, for this because we went in there let's say, a few times. So that was the crab. Ryan, you had the crab and I had the uh, lamb chops in, yeah. in a bread crumb. There was never a bad course that we no. had here. This is the this is the the one now that's making me hungry. Oh, you want to go to Sindhu now? Oh, it, it was so good. Me. Really? Yeah. No. This is their special plate. Now, the way that they do it on here is different to what it was on Ventura. Yes. Because you had like three separate curries on this one. It should have been duck, lobster, and fillet steak. Yeah. But they had no duck. No. So they doubled up the yeah. uh, the steak. Uh, really tasty, and you had the lobster, which. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? I did, yes. Yes, I did. But, I, I mean, did, do, do you have the desserts? I'm, oh! I'm have the desserts. You mean your favourite dessert on the ship? I think it's going to be my top five dessert. De- I, I can't desserts even speak. Ever. Are you that excited about it? Oh! This is their bread and butter pudding. I can't. It was, oh. It was so good, wasn't it? It was absolutely. I mean, I was like, when we're we going back to Sindhu, when we're we going back to Sindhu, could we go to Sindhu and I just have the dessert? And you're like, no. <laughs> we, just... we gave Sindhu a nine out of ten. We did. I would... The only reason it hasn't got high is it is quite expensive. It is very when you expensive. Considering you've already paid for your cruise food. Uh, and <laughs> you can tell by your face there, you're very, very happy. Don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> so, final thoughts on Iona. We, we haven't covered every possible little thing you can get. Uh, this one here is the gelato ice cream afternoon tea. That's meant for one person, which is why you only get one drink. And you get all that, and I think it was £9, something like that. I can't remember. But there's just so much in there. Again, I'm not, not doing a review no, of this. No, no, no. We're, we're just showing that there is a huge choice of things that you can have on Iona. On, on here. And some of it is amazing. Yes. Some of it. Maybe just your regular cruise food that you would expect. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, in a lot of cases, you know, people uh, attempted to just stay. Is that me in, looking at the picture? Oh, for... it's so a people, good. Sorry, a lot of people attempted to just stay in the, the free dining. I do think Iona is worth spending a few pounds more to go in the speciality dining because it is a lot better. That bread and butter pudding. I can't even speak. The bread and butter pudding. Oh. And that's the end of another video. Oh, my goodness, Mackie. Well, thank you for making me hungry. And You're welcome. Thank you for watching, everyone. And cheers. cheers. And have a lovely day.